doing today? This is Brad, SharpensBest.com, off on another little adventure. Today we're going looking for some knives. We're coming here to Outdoor World, and we're going to be looking for some Benchmade and some cold steel knives and some exotic steels that people say I can't sharpen. That is just utter nonsense, you know why? Because tungsten carbides are different types of steels. I can sharpen any blade. Let's go in and look around. Outdoor world, we're gonna do some looking for some knives. Well, let's go find the knives. And yes, I do have a little color on my face because I just got back uh, yesterday afternoon from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. I was down there for eight days. And I think I even lost a little bit of my back. I ain't going back looking for it though. Oh yeah, pretty cool fish they got here in the tank. Weird looking fish. Oh, we got some bear, we got some cool stuff here. Exploring new places, things like that, buying some knives, sharpening knives, putting them on video, put them on YouTube, and just let you guys have the fun and show you how to sharpen some good, high expensive, you know, knives, some uh, hard knives, things like that. Uh, where are the knives? Okay. Deal. Sometimes you want some fishing rods, some fishing reels, you know, you got to find some uh, lures and some bait and hooks and everything. Maybe you're doing your own casting of your sinkers, so you got to find, uh, uh, can't even think right now, <laughs> bolts for the lead. All right, you got to buy the lead, things like that. Um, I do like to fish, and I do fish now and then. Uh, that's pretty cool. I like this store. It's a good place to be. It's fun. Um, if you can't find it here, you can't find it anywhere probably. Uh, outdoor World is really cool. This is Brad. You take care. We'll catch you later. Today we're not fishing, today we're looking for knives. And we're looking for knives in a really cool place. Oh yeah, now and then you just gotta sit down and relax. That's long enough. Could you see me? Could you see me? Can you hear me now? All right, we're in the knife section. We're gonna look for some knives. This are, uh, these are really popular. These are replaceable blades. Havilon knives are about a dollar. Uh, roughly to replace the blade. A lot of people are doing that these days instead of sharpening. I do sharpen Havilon blades. 
Um, and we might do a Havilon blade this time and then we'll sell it online. So we'll keep that in mind and pretty soon we'll see about buying one of them. Let's look for some Benchmade. These are really pretty cool. Again, these are replaceable blades. Uh, the inside radius, that's kind of important to know how to sharpen. Uh, we don't sharpen any saws at all. So let's look around a little bit more. So SOG, we can buy a SOG. We got Spider Co. We can do that. Okay, and uh, that would be down here, the G10. Okay, Tenacious uh, G10. That's got the inside radiuses on the uh, uh, serrated edge blades, things like that. So we'll do that one. You know, people are always asking me, can, you, can I sharpen hatchets? Yes, I can sharpen hatchets. And I see you got one right down here, and I think I'm gonna buy that one. This hatchet right here is $44, and uh, I might even sign it for you. I'll sharpen it and uh, sign it for you, and then we'll put it for sale on the website. We do have a lot of Benchmade knives in here. I think I'm going to buy the Schrade hatchet. I think I like it better than the other one. And it's more of a smaller, compact, uh, hiking, camping type hatchet. I may even, I, I will reprofile the blade on that because it's actually very abrupt. Okay, it's probably uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of a, of a 40 degree bevel uh, if you go to both sides, so 20 degrees on one side. So let's do this one. And uh, browning, yeah, that's kind of a good knife, but nothing. Okay, we got one here at Smith & Wesson. It's not an expensive knife, but I sharpen a lot of knives every weekend. Smith & Wesson actually has a pretty, uh, very hard knife. They have good hard blades, so I'll buy that and we'll sharpen it. I also decided on one of these, it's a Havilon knife, it's a replaceable blade, and I'm going to sharpen it and show you how you don't really have to replace the blades all the time if you don't break your blade, keep it sharp, and just keep reusing it. Let's go look at some other knives. That one right there, the Zing. Stainless steel, three inch, holder. Okay, I'll hold still because Kershaw's only right there. This particular one is a Kershaw, it's a three, three and a half inch folder. It's stainless steel. Uh, it's a good little knife. It's got your center lock on it right there. We'll sharpen that up, make it really sharp, and then we'll put it on the site. Okay, that one, and, uh, oh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna buy one of these two. Razor edge, uh, you know, it's uh, outdoor edge, and it looks to me to be about a three and a half inch blade. It's a bigger blade, probably more substantial than the Havilons. Uh, it's a little bit bigger knife, a little bit easier to hang on to. I like the rubberized uh, kind of a handle here, so we'll sharpen that one up, talk about it a little bit, and then uh, put it on the website. Spider Co. Good knife. Yeah, okay. Well, you wonder if I can sharpen SV30 steel. Um, I just say yes automatically because I've never found a knife that I couldn't sharpen. And I know at uh, almost 11 years at the gun shows, doing as many gun shows as I have, I run across every kind of a blade, every kind of a steel there is out there. I run across knives they claim are six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred dollars for a pocket knife. I think that's where. I think that's just ridiculous. But anyway, this is an SV30. It's a bench made. It has an inside radius and outside radius. So I'll sharpen it up. We'll show you on the paper before I sharpen it, after I sharpen it. Um, and then we'll put these knives on our website. So this is Brad. You take care and have a good day. Zach Brown Band. Southern Grind is the name of the company that makes them. That's a nice knife. I like it. I like the feel of it. Got your thumb, you got your finger guard, 
And it's not too horribly thick, that's good. It is thick enough to be strong, durable, tough. It's about a quarter of an inch up here on the back bunk. Then it's flat. Then you have your first grind, secondary grind. Yeah, maybe next time we'll buy one of these. Zach Brown Band. Bring him up and say goodbye to him. Well, you know what, guys out there, you come to my website and you look around on there, and then you go and watch my YouTube videos and things, and you're always saying, can you sharpen this, can you sharpen that, different kinds of knives. I will go the extra mile for you, and I'm not done. I will look up the other numbers, SB30, I remembered was one of them, so I made sure I got a knife that had the SB30 steel on it. I will look up the other numbers, and I will go find them, and I will purchase the knives, and uh, we'll sharpen them and show you the spread. Sharpensbest.com, you take care. We're going to make a purchase. Easy come, easy go. That's right. All right, I've got my bag of goodies. It's almost like Halloween, or is it Christmas? Might be my birthday. Yeah, let's go, this bread. We are doing the happy walk right now. You know what, I have a lot of fun. Uh, we go out and we film and we just goof off and we do goofy things. Uh, two goofy guys in a camera and we go out and uh, do things that hopefully you enjoy. And I think you do by the looks uh, of the uh, clicks on our, watching our videos and stuff like that and the sales that add up on the uh, website, you know, so anyways, uh, you know, sharpensbest.com, that's a good place, so you know what, having a good time here, you have a good day.